somewhere in between it all is the fact that if you ask the question about the North and the South, I, I've taught about slavery in the United States for more than a quarter of a century in, in a variety of university settings. And you realize that, um, except for books by Benjamin Quarles and the one generation, Benjamin Quarles and, and Leon Letwack and others, the notion of slavery in the North is actually written out not only of Brown, but written out of uh, textbooks and general histories uh, for a long time. It was a specialized student who was taking a specialized course who actually came to realize that somehow that uh, the story of slavery was a national story. And so when we tie this to the story of capital development and capitalism and the ways that trade flowed throughout the world, we end up finding ourselves in this interesting space, right? So in the South, it is hard to sort of walk away from the fact that they were slaves. I mean, you, you can sort of say a whole lot of things, but uh, it's not even amnesia, it's delusional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and so... And that's well said. And, and so there invites then a different entry port in, point into a conversation. And so as Leslie knows, and, she have had, and I have had this conversation, and Gemma I have, because I came back and says, even in the South, though, you can't apologize. Contemporary leaders can't apologize for something that was done 100, 150 years ago and beyond. You can't issue a statement of regret. And the institution has, is a living institution. And the institution can regret its involvement with a certain chapter in the past. It's hard to apologize because you actually put in words into it's a different... Impossible uh, to it's impossible, impossible, impossible to, to apologize because you're putting words into then the actions of actors who long ago lived and who no doubt if they were sort of transported back in time uh, into the present would not necessarily feel that they've done anything wrong, that they were indeed uh, normal men and women in their time. 